Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I would like to show you how to downgrade iPhone SE, iPhone 6S or iPhone 6S Plus from iOS 13 to iOS 12 without losing your data and the method is untethered so you don't need a computer to boot your iPhone whenever you set it down and before you can get started in this video make sure you download the IPAW and the tool software here so the link can be found in the description for the IPAW you need to download the correct one so for this method to work like for me I have the iPhone SE so I need to download the iPhone 5 IPAW to get it to work so and then you can download iOS 12.2 here so click on the link here for someone who own iPhone 6S you need to download iPhone 6 IPAW the same thing and then you can click on iOS 12.4.2 the link here and then if you own the iPhone 6s plus you need to download the iPhone 6 plus IPAW to get it to work as well and after you download you need to open up the iTunes and now we need to preserve the data so before we can downgrade we need to back up first and then click on backup now after the backup is finished you can close the iTunes first and then you can install WinRAR click on open and click on yes and now click on install and after install you can extract the software so it's extract to hassle and then you can open the software and you can see this page here so for the SHS one you can copy the number from the link that you download your IPW so again for me I have the iPhone SE so I need to copy it from the iPhone 5s so as you can see iOS 12.4.2 here so you can copy this number and then click on copy and I'll go back to this software and paste it and then you need to browse for the IPAW that you have downloaded earlier so for me the IPAW is in desktop and I can select it and click on open and then I can click on calculate and it may take some time for it to verify and after that you will see the SAA1 is verified so you can close it and now you can open up the iTunes and then you can click on the iPhone here the iPhone icon and you need to hold on the shift key and click on restore if you're using Mac you can hold on the option key and click on restore iPhone so and then you will jump to this page and now you can select the IPAW and then click on open and click on restore and now it is a good sign if you see your iPhone is restart and all, all we have to do we just wait for the process to finish and now after the restore is finished so we go through the setup screen and finally we are back on iOS 12 now so you can see in my iPhone so I am running on iOS 12.4.2 on my iPhone SE right now and now it's time to restore the backup file from iOS 13 to iOS 12 so before we can restore we need to edit some file on the computer so we can go to my computer and go to the file drive and click on user click on your username so my username is hello click on hello and then click on app data and click on rooming and click on Apple computer and go to mobile sync and click on the backup so this is the backup that we have just made on iOS 13 so click on it and scroll all the way down and you need to open the info you can open it using the notepad and then click on edit click on find and you need to type 13 and click on find find it and until you see the iOS 13 version
and here we go we can see the string here iOS 13.0 so we need to rename it to iOS 12 and now we can save and then if you see the restore backup is gray out you can restart iTunes and open it up again and click on the iPhone icon again and now you will be able to see the restore backup here so click on restore backup and you can pick the backup that we have just made before and you can choose the last one that we have just edited and click on restore and we can see the restore in progress on the iPhone and now the restore is finished so you need to wait for the, your iPhone to reboot and you can unplug it and now the backup is finished we can see the app is still there and for the photo we can see the photo is still there as well and I am running on iOS 12 right now and you can see and same for watching if you have any question you can comment down below